What you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can create any type of website and uh, run it locally on our machine here using XAMP. Now, this is a great way of uh, getting your feet wet, learning WordPress, Joomla, and all these other types of uh, software that you may want to learn how to uh, build a website using WordPress and stuff like that. So, as I said, it's not going to cost you anything. You can actually set this up. And run it locally on your machine here and get used to installing and configuring and uh, changing it to your needs okay so let me have a look at the uh, software here XAMP is a free piece of software which you can download and run on Linux Windows Mac OS and Solaris now we're going to be uh, installing uh, WordPress and this is the actual WordPress you can download for free it's only a small download now I've got both of these on my desktop here now to run XAMP you really do want to disable UAC because you'll run into some problems okay uh, trying to run the uh, certain services on there it just won't run it will block them okay so I've already done that but if you don't know how to do your services I'll quickly show you how to do this what you need to do is go to your user accounts and then you can change user account control settings click on this and you can then pull this down to here now once you finish using it you can put it back up to where it was which is here okay so once you've done that you need to reboot your system and then you can install XM so let's go and install XM right now so I'm just gonna quickly run this And it will give you a little warning here saying that you're running an uh, antivirus program and stuff like that. I'm going to continue with the installation here. I've had no problems running an antivirus. It was just the uh, UAC. So we're going to put this in a location here. I'm going to leave mine in my root directory. You can change this to wherever you like. Um, we're just going to go next. It wants us to go and download this program if you wish. I'm just going to say no to that for now go next and let it install okay so now we've done this we can now uh, start our control panel so I'm going to say yes to this just leave the tick in there and uh, this is exactly what we've got now this is our little control panel that we will need to have running now you can see Apache's running and that's good because we want that to uh, run and we also want to start up uh, this one here and you will see now they've gone green once they go green that means they're running okay if they're yellow or orange or red or something like that you've got problems and it will show up here and you will need to sort something out there to get that running but this is all running so now we've got this done we can now put this down on our bar there now what we need to do next is we're going to go to our C root directory and inside here you'll see a folder in here called XAMP. This is where all our stuff goes uh, and where we run our websites from. So you want to be looking at htdocs here and inside here this is where we want to put our WordPress uh, extraction here. So I'm going to quickly extract this now. So I'm going to use 7-zip for this. I'm going to extract files and I'm going to point to that location C root directory and XAMP and we're going to put this into htdocs click OK and let that extract there okay that's the installation process now complete so what we can do now is we're just going to go uh, go to localhost And you'll see localhost here if I do localhost you should now see this page if you see this then everything is working okay we're going to click on English here and now we have this window here so once we've uh, got that all done what we need to do here is come down to let me see here um, we need to go to PHP my admin and we're going to click on database here 
and we're going to create a database and we're going to call this say WordPress just for tutorial purposes and we're going to create that okay now you should see database WordPress has been created once that's done we can come out of here next we need to go back into our folder and I'm going to go back into my uh, WordPress folder here which is inside htdocs and now what I'm going to do here is go to where it says uh, wp-config-sample we're just going to open this up and we're going to select a program to open this up with and we're going to use notepad here and what this is going to do is open that file in notepad so we can make some edits now you can see here we've got database name all right and uh, so what you need to do is change your database name we've also got user and we've also got a password and local host we're going to leave this local host but we're just going to change this to wordpress because that's what we named it and now we're going to change our username to root and then password if you don't want to use a password you can just leave that off for now like so it is locally so it's okay and we're going to leave this as local host once you've done that we're going to save this and we're going to save it as wp-config and take the sample out so now we just need to go back like so and then save we can close it off and then all we need to do now is go back to our page so we'll just go back to our local host in our browser as you can see here and what we want to do here next is we're just going to take this first part out and just put WordPress in there like so and push enter now we've got that all we need to do here now is configure our file database name database username password and host so let's go so what we need to do next is we've got WordPress up the top for our database name user which will be root a password we left that blank and local host I'm going to submit this and then we can run the install that's always good to put passwords in and, all, and better usernames than that but you can do all that yourself now you can set up your title we're going to call this test and you can now set up your username and password so we're going to call this uh, Brightech and we're going to call this one like so email address he wants an email address here we can do something like that make one up and uh, install WordPress Now it's going to start to install, log in, and log in. And there we have it. We've logged into our WordPress and now we can start to play around and configure it to what we want. So if we look at our site now, you'll see the website is running locally. And there we have it. And you can make changes to this, add themes and whatever you want to do to learn how to use WordPress it's that simple so I hope this helps people out I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk so that's how you basically create a website using XAMPP and uh, it's pretty straightforward guys okay so if you enjoy these videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me out uh, if you've got any comments then leave them down below and uh, I'll try and answer them if I can and uh, also if you want to say subscribe to my channel then hit the subscribe button and that will keep you up to date uh, for when I upload new videos okay so thanks again for watching and thanks for your support guys bye for now